The Lost Child role is an incredibly adaptive one, and if you're someone who was the Lost Child, if you're somebody who has typically tried to avoid conflict, get away from the conflict, then you have probably noticed the, the reinforcing nature of all of this. When we have something that makes us really anxious, and we get away from it, we get instantaneous relief. When we talk about um, behaviors and reward systems, we talk about contingencies. And so with this, we are talking about an immediate contingency. I sense the danger, I sense the thing that makes me anxious, you know, this dependent parent has come home, the person who creates a lot of the trauma, I go to my room, I lock the door, I turn on some music. That is instantaneous relief. And some of those are really wonderful coping skills. Um, and as a survival method, this makes a lot of sense as well. And so, given that this is evolutionarily reinforced, and it's reinforced through the contingencies, through the things that I'm getting, kids tend to do this over and over and over again. And so what ends up happening is that this not only becomes a cycle at home, but this can become a cycle outside of the home. If I sense that there is some kind of uh, some, some kind of conflict going on with my peers, I will get away from them. If I sense that maybe my peers are getting angry with me, they don't really like me very much, I'll pull away. I will isolate, I'll get away from them. Um, and this can leave kids feeling pretty lonely. Um, and it can also have a role to play when we're talking about things like homework. If I have homework that makes me really anxious, I might not do it. I might pull away from it. And so a lot of times it's really important for teachers, for um, social workers, counselors, therapists, to be able to recognize these small signs like being able to see that academic performance is slipping, being able to see that you know the kid reports not really having a whole lot of friends, because this can be really solid evidence of this kind of cycle going on. Um, and unfortunately, sometimes the best way to get through anxiety is to do what we call opposite action, going into it. Um, being able to face that, being able to be around it, but being able to have safe and healthy reinforcers that come afterwards. The difficult thing with the, lone, uh, with the lost child is that they can't really practice this at home because being within the conflict is inherently kind of dangerous. 